Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nitrous Oxide, aka American Nitrous, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the, in my opinion, the best weapon in uh, Dying Light. Uh, I got this game last week uh, sometime, and now it's a very chilly Groundhog Day, and I figured uh, you guys deserved a video. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to get the, uh, I believe it's the Krotek Machete. Uh, I'm gonna go over to map here. <clears throat> I have it marked. This building up here looks kind of like a hospital in my opinion. Um, it's I'm starting at the tower, and if you go uh, straight up and a little bit to the left, you will see this uh, C-shaped building, and I believe it, it's kind of a uh, a bluish white building I think, um, and it looks kind of like a hospital. So we're gonna uh, start heading that direction. Now, by no means am I, uh, at all the best person at this game. Uh, I'm actually quite poor in terms of doing very well at this game at all. Um, I'm a little decent at but for the most part, uh, it is not, uh, the best. I'm gonna climb up this way, so please do pardon my, uh, parkouring skills as I am not the best person at this game. Here to do. Hopefully, I won't get caught by uh, too many zombies on the way. To do. I do like vaulting over them though. It's it's quite fun. Ah crap! They got chased. Hey, I lost him. Sweet. <clears throat> uh, I don't believe this was the best way to go. I would go under the bridge if I were you guys. It's safe. Uh, we're gonna head this direction. I don't see any garbage or anything. Alrighty then. Head this direction, up over the train tracks, like a boss. And uh, once I get there, I'm going to try and show you how to, uh... Ah, I can't get open. Alright, sorry guys. Detour. Have to go this way. <clears throat> uh, once I do get there, I'm going to show you how to climb up and uh, grab this fantastic little gun. Or, not gun. Uh, machete. And I believe it has uh, 500 to 600 damage, depending on how much you upgrade it. So uh, that would be absolutely fantastic for killing zombies. Most of, I believe, uh, you can kill them in one shot, and it's it's a blueprint. It's not a weapon. Um, it actually uh, you could rebuild it and build it over and over again. But I don't believe it has the best durability in the world. Alright, I'm gonna take care of this guy because these poison guys can be really terrible. They don't have a whole lot of health, so um, taking care of them shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully, that's the last time I have to deal with one of those fools. Alright, so we're here. This is the building that I was talking about. This bluish white building. I believe it's actually an apartment building. Uh, you're gonna grab this little air conditioner here. And see that pole. Grab onto that if I can do it. <laughs> Very good at this. Mm. <laughs> Trying to make a fool of myself. <laughs> Try it one more time. <laughs> Takes a few tries. But, uh. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now that you're up up here going to wrap up this ledge and then we're gonna do like a little bunny hop thing so we're gonna hop up here turn around and then grab up there <laughs> if I can do it right which I'm very good at there we go up here and we should just be able to hop up here on the 
All right, so you're gonna wanna climb up on top of this building and I believe this is it. And so what's gonna happen is um, there's this blue box that you just can't seem to open. And if you kick it enough times, the blueprint is inside. So we'll just keep on kicking it here. As you hear my button mashing in the background. And come on, little box. No time to waste. Come on, open. Come on, buddy, open. What the fuck was that? Come on, come on. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it takes uh, 10 alcohol and 20 metal parts um, to craft. Okay. Which I'm not sure if I have, and if I don't, I'll uh, show you guys some combat with it later. But this does take quite a while to open. Okay. There we go. Got it. So the Coric Machete. And if you look here uh, under your blueprints, you got the Coric Machete. I need eight more alcohol to build this, so um, I'm going to go uh, grab some alcohol and build it, and I'll be back shortly to um, show you guys just how deadly this Coric Machete is. All right, guys, I got my alcohol. I uh, crafted it together, and I now have the uh, Korak, which is some pretty nice damage, by the way. Uh, I did upgrade it a little bit. Um, as you can tell, it is now at 566, and uh, my durability is 38 with a handling of 342. Um, so it does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, usually I can one-shot zombies which is pretty nice um yeah it's by far the single best weapon in the game um i absolutely love this and i don't know how many repairs it has but i think it's yeah you can't repair it so once it's gone it's gone that's all you got um but it does do a considerable amount of damage especially if you're fighting um, some pretty big zombies or anything like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this handy little tutorial uh, about how to get the Korek Machete, or, in my opinion, the best weapon in the game. Thanks.